Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. Our concept is one in multi-step word problems. This is part two. Remember fifth graders, you are amazing just the way you are. We have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's dive into number 26. Shauna is reading a 528 page book. She reads 22 pages every day. How many days will it take Shauna to read the entire book? Is it F, 506, G, 26, H, 24, or J, 550? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the amount of days it will take Shauna to read the entire book. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is one, Shauna is reading a 528 page book and two, she reads 22 pages every day. Now that we have our information, well, how are we going to solve this problem? In order for us to find out how many days it will take her to read the whole book, we need to divide 528 pages by 22 pages. As we set up our division problem, 528 divided by 22 is equal to 24 pages. Now that we know that it, it will take 24 days, do you see Ms. Jackson? Mm -mm -mm. Let's change it, because you know I like changing on the live. Okay, my apologies students, 24 days. Now that we have that information, we need to discover what is the correct answer. So what we're gonna do is look at all of our answer choices and see which one has 24 as the answer. And yes, it is H. H is our correct answer. Great job, fifth graders. Let's move to question number 27. Tara has a box of 908 beads for making bracelets. She wants to put 15 beads on each bracelet she makes. What is the greatest number of bracelets Tara can make with these beads? Is it A, 61, B, 70, C, 60, or D, 68? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we are going to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the greatest number of bracelets Tara can make with these beads. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, what information can help find the answer? Okay, the information that can help us find the answer is number one, Tara has a box of 908 beads for making bracelets, and two, she wants to put 15 beads on each bracelet she makes. Now, how are we going to solve this problem? In order for us to know how many bracelets Tara can make, we need to divide 908 beads by 15 beads. When we divide 908 by 15, our answer is 60.5 bracelets. Now, the reason that Ms. Jackson put that there is when we see the 0.5, our mind may say, okay, we need to round up, but we don't because we need to know at the point she wants to put on 
she wants to put 15 beads on each bracelet. We don't need to round up because only 60 is the number of bracelets she can have with 15 beads on it. With that knowledge, what is our correct answer? All we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has 60 as an answer. And I bet you see it. Yes, it is C. C is our correct answer. And that is it, fifth graders, for our one and multi-step word problems part two. Remember, we have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.